Hello friends, Clyde Lindsay here, Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for joining us this week in our Twinkle Tips Friday video series. This week I want to address something that happened at Christmas Expo that was rather uh, eye-opening, but I I'm not surprised. Well, let's just get right into it. Okay, we're all the way up here, and I want to share with you, this is our Christmas Expo layout. And I decided, since I was doing the main setup for Expo, that I, was, I wanted to bring some extra candy canes. So I threw two candy canes in the back of the truck, loaded up. Next thing I realized was these little candy canes right here. There was this function that's in X-Lights, and I'll share it with you right here. If you right click, you can select any model and you can flip it horizontally or flip it vertically. Well, this is great for the candy canes because I had a left hook and I had a right hook. And the left hook is the first one I did. That was easy. And all I did was I, 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 I needed to get the wiring view. So I went to the, the, the wiring view here. And I looked at the node wiring view and I thought, oh, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll do this and they can push this, this uh, candy cane in. And then I'm like, well, we need to start this one out, and we need to do this one the same way. And then I selected it, and I happened to notice when I went to the wiring view that, lo and behold, this looks exactly like that. And so that's whenever I learned that whenever you use in the X-Lights layout screen the flip model or flip horizontal, flip vertical, doesn't exactly work the way you think it is. So let's go ahead and show you step by step exactly what I did and what happened and we'll walk through why things may not work in X-Lights the way you think that they should work. So I'm gonna download the uh, 99 Chroma Cane here from Boscoya. We're gonna insert the model. I'm gonna use Control C to copy while it's selected and I'm gonna hit Control V to paste. And now I'll put these side by side we can show you a little alignment here too. Select them both, click and drag, and align the bottom. See how they're nice and aligned? That's a nice little function you might not have known about. But now we'll go ahead and we'll select one of these and we'll right click and we'll flip horizontal. And when we do this, I'm gonna make a group out of these. And so now we have a group of candy canes. They, we know that they're wired the same way, but the, the model didn't flip. And I want you to see why it's important to learn some of these little things in X-Lights. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, start a new sequence, animation. And we're just gonna test the models, okay? I'm gonna put a timing mark down and I am going to, right here on the group that says canes one, I'm gonna put the single strand effect. And then I'm going to make this chase size nice and big. And let's open up the model preview here, right? And you can see when you put the single strand effect, if I have this on default, it appears that everything is going to work correctly. But if you watch the other Twinkle Tips video and you turn a model or you edit a model, guess what? If you happen to import a sequence and somebody says, oh, sequence this per model default in the render styles, look what happens is now it's reversing instead of doing it from like it was on the whole model preview going left to right. And that's because one model was actually flipped over and it still thinks it's facing the other way. So there has to be a fix for this, right? Here's the fix. The fix is you can't just in, in the X lights layout, you can't right click and use this flip horizontal and flip vertical if you're importing sequences depending on, on the render styles that your sequencer may have used. So every sequencer is different. Maybe, maybe they use per model per preview, but if they didn't use per model per preview, you have to go in and edit all of those effects. Uh, on any of the props that you happen to flip horizontally. So let's show you, so let's, we'll copy this and we'll, we'll paste it. Here's our original. And then what we'll do is we'll, con we'll control V, we'll paste another one. This, this is the fix. Click on the model data line here, open up the dialog. And in here, we'll right click. We'll right click in this dialog box here and we'll flip it horizontally. Now, when we do that, now you can see these two candy canes look identical to those. Um, okay, so if, if we go ahead and we can create a group here and we call, right click. And after we've created the group, we'll go back into the sequence. Now we have to add this into the sequence because it wasn't there before when we started it. We'll go in and open up the display elements and we'll pull it over here, canes two. 
Okay, so let's grab the uh, single strand effect. We'll pull it down here, and we'll put it on just the candy canes per model default. And you can see them going left to right. Now, if we take this and we copy this and we put the exact same effect up here on this group, let's change the color because uh, we want it to work a certain way. You can see that per model default, they're going to the center instead of from left to right on both of them. What this looks like on the house preview is... There's your two different candy cane sets. The bottom set is going left to right as it should be, but the top set, because it was flipped using the X lights flip in the layout, it still doesn't fix the layout wiring. Now, I don't know if that's a bug because that's the way the developers set it in there to do it. Sometimes we don't understand why X lights does certain things. So sometimes it's important for you to be able to learn how to come back here, go into the model data, select the model data, and be able to utilize the functions that are built in here into the model data. And that's everything we have for you today, guys. This is Clyde Lindsay signing out from Pixel Pro Displays. If you like the video, please give us a big thumbs up. Consider smashing the subscribe button to join us each and every week and hit the bell for notifications so that you know when we put out one new video, typically we do something each and every week. There's at least two or three things that get released. So join us for those. And if you appreciate what we do here at Pixel Pro Displays, please consider becoming a PPD Sequence Club member. Your monthly subscription gets you access to the PPD affiliate discounts, which we're adding some new exciting things coming up. And not only that, those affiliate savings save you at least the cost of your subscription on a monthly or annual basis, depending on the things that you're already going to buy for your hobby anyway. Thank you for joining us. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care and bye for now. Select those both. We can right click create group and we'll call this arches B or arches two. So now we have our two, di uh, oh, I'm <laughs> delete group. I can't believe I said arches two. Oh my gosh. I said delete, delete group. Are you sure you want to delete the groups? Yes. Okay, <laughs> start over. Um, okay, so if, if we go ahead and we can create...